Hey guys, it's Spiros from the Self-Help Photographer. It's Tuesday. We're going to answer a question. Just one question today it comes from Nali Gritze. Nali wants to know what the advantages of a full frame camera are. And before we talk about the advantages, let's actually define what a full frame camera is. A full frame camera has an image sensor inside of it that is the exact same size as a 35 millimeter piece of film. A full frame sensor is a sensor that measures 36 millimeters across and 24 millimeters tall. Sensors that are smaller than this are called crop sensors. Crop sensors come in a whole variety of sizes, so we're going to focus just on the size that comes in most of our digital SLRs. These are called APS-C sensors. Now there are small variations in size between manufacturers, so we're actually going to pick just one sensor to compare to, the Nikon DX. Now the DX sensor is 23.6 millimeters across and 15.7 millimeters tall. This sensor is 2.3 times smaller in terms of surface area than the full frame sensor at 36 millimeters by 24 millimeters. This is important because your image sensor is not one big sensor that captures a picture. It's actually comprised of a grid of millions of tiny individual sensors. Each individual sensor represents a pixel in your image. Here's an example. Look at the difference in size between the sights on this full frame and the sights on this APS-C. The APS-C sensors are smaller. This is one of the things that gives full frame such an advantage over crop sensors. The size of those individual photo sensing sights are important to the quality of your image and the performance of your sensor. So let's take a look at the advantages of a full frame sensor. One of the greatest advantages is you can shoot higher ISOs and get better image quality. And this goes directly back to what I just demonstrated. The size of the individual photo sites are larger. Because they are larger, each individual photo site can capture more light. See, ISO works by amplifying the signal that the digital sensor is receiving. Now when you amplify the signal, you also amplify the electronic noise that is always present in a signal. When you do that, sometimes the noise can become more powerful than the signal. This shows up as brightness and color variations in our image and we call this noise. Now if you have a sensor that has individual photosites that can capture more light, the more light they have, the more likely they are to be able to overpower the noise signal when you pump up your ISO. This also just gives you better image quality in general. Bigger photo sites allow the camera sensor to capture more detail per pixel. That additional detail translates into better dynamic range, better sharpness and clarity. All of these different things are better captured simply because you're able to get more light on the image sensor. One of the other things that full frame sensors do is decrease your depth of field. To get the same view with the same lens and the same aperture on a full frame camera, you actually have to be closer to the subject than you do with the same lens and the same aperture on a crop sensor camera. For this reason, the depth of field is shallower because when the camera is closer to the subject, your depth of field is shallower. That's just a matter of the optics and the physics and how it works. Full frame sensors also require larger viewfinders on the camera, which generally translates into bigger and brighter viewfinders when you look through the camera. This is nice for composing images. It also makes manually focusing much, much easier than on these DX and APS-C crop sensored cameras. Now there are some disadvantages to a full frame camera. One of those is simply the cost. Full frame cameras are more expensive. Full frame cameras are also heavier. And if you need a light camera, you need something that's smaller, then you definitely are going to want to look at a crop sensor because these cameras are bigger, more expensive, and they are heavier. So should you get a full frame camera? I would say if you shoot in low light a lot and you need that high ISO performance, you should definitely get a full frame camera. If you want the absolute best image quality that you can get, then you should get a full frame camera because you can get great image quality out of crop sensors, but full frame is just going to be better. If you are into portraits and you want to really be able to control that depth of field, 
get a full frame camera. You can do portraits and you can do depth of field on a crop sensor and that's fine. But if you want more control, you want better clarity and detail, again, full frame is, is going to be better. So the bottom line is that the real advantage of a full frame camera is better image quality and better performance at ISO. It used to also be that the full frame cameras were pro bodies with all these extra features. But with cameras like the 7D, the D7100, the D300, the Canon 60D, you've got pro level cameras that are crop sensors. So it's really a matter of determining how much you need that super, super good image quality and how big and how heavy the camera is and how much you're willing to spend. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you this week. Now, do me a favor. In the comments, let me know if you use a full frame or crop sensored camera. I currently use a Canon 60D. It is a crop sensored camera. I love it. It's a great camera. If you have any questions, use the link in the descriptions down below to hit me up. You know the drill. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and most importantly, get out there and take some damn photos. I will see you guys on Thursday.